Welcome to your ultimate guide to CHK Fine Arts. I'm Emmy. In this video, I'm going to cover a lot of things about this major. So before this video begins, here's a little disclaimer. The things that I'm going to mention in this video, you can take it as a reference, but situation and things might be changed in the future. But this is by far the most up-to-date version. So with that being said, let's get started. So for exchange opportunities, at CHK, there are four ways that you can apply for exchange program. It means you can apply for exchange through four different hosts. These type of student exchange are including university-wide exchange, college, faculty, and department exchange program. For university-wide exchange program, you must apply through an organization based in CUHK. It's called OAL, Office of Academic Links. So for the rest of the three, you have to apply through your college, department and faculty that you belong to and of course you can apply both of them and ideally you should go on exchange on your third year or fourth year of study and that's going to be a better timing and one thing is you cannot go on exchange in freshman year because exchange program need to apply one year earlier so the earliest year that you can go on exchange is sophomore year which is year two exchange program lasts neither a term summer or an academic year so we can go on exchange for a cumulative maximum for like one year like semester one and two and also a summer so it doesn't mean that you can only go for once so for example you can go to university a in semester one and go to university b in summer semester so in my case i apply my exchange through oal office of academic links and also college um, which is new asia college so for each one your final results will only have one university so for oal my offer was American University in Washington DC in the United States. So for the New Asia College one, my offer was the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. And I ended up choosing the American University one because since childhood, I always have that kind of American dream. Another reason is I've been to Sydney before. Even the odd major stuff of University of New South Wales is better than American University. So in general, why do you need to apply for exchange through different homes? Host because it somehow affects your credit transfer stuff. So if you apply the program through your major, it's more guaranteed that you can transfer the credit after you finish those courses from your exchange institution. And you'll be so sure that the exchange university list provided from your department has courses must related to your major. But the thing is, in most cases, you don't have that much choice to choose from applying exchange program through department. But for OEL, they provide a lot of options nearly all around the world. The procedures are actually kind of complicated and it takes quite a while honestly. Your GPA do matters when you're applying for exchange and also interview is needed too. Indeed you can actually apply for interview exemption but the final calculation is a little bit different. For more information you can go to the OAL website they explain everything very detailed and I will put the link down below on the info box. Based on my exchange experience, I studied quite a lot of studio art courses back in the state, like paintings, video art, digital photography, and sculpture. I also studied graphic design history. At my exchange university, there's a whole art building inside the campus. It's named Kesson Art Center. Inside the art center, there's also a museum in it. Their facility are actually better than CHK. I remember for my painting class back to the days, we visited the museum inside the Kesson Art Center, also museums in the city. For those who don't know, there are tons of museums in Washington, DC, and more importantly, it's free. And also fortunately, I'm grateful that I had the chance to showcase my work work in their undergraduate art exhibition. I think that was a really precious experience to just like show my work even I was only an exchange student. But I also found out that what they taught me at my exchange institute, American University, were more based on the technical side, like the technique stuff, rather than your conceptual thinking stuff. And also I can't believe that studying in the States was so hard. I can't imagine that they have to take attendance every time if you miss the attendance attendance like two times, two to four times, there was like a limit. If you skip your class and you will just fail from the course, that's a really strict restriction. At CHA, a lot of courses doesn't require to take attendance. That was really out of my expectation. But also another good side is they praise a lot and which makes you so good feeling you're not a trash. 
So when talking about internship, it's not mandatory to find internship during a study at CUHK. Art major is not like business major. We are not required to do internship since freshman year. But I do think that internships are really essential for you. You can gain more experience about the art industry before you graduate from university. I mean, you can learn a lot from it, but it also depends on where you do your internship. Even I said that it's not a must to find internship at CUHK. CHK Fine Arts, but our department also provided a course, literally it's an internship, but it counts for credits. I'm not sure where this course is going to be there in the future, but I remember they provide it every year and you can take it as a reference though. This course is Art and Social Engagement Summer Internship. The course code is at 4000 level. It means that it will be included in the major GPAs for the degree classification assessment. It counts three credits, which is really common credits at CHK. I think this is quite nice. It's an internship, also it's a course, count with credits. It's really the best of both worlds. I joined this course before and I made a series of internship diaries on my channel. If you're interested in our intern life, uh, what we usually do on a day-to-day -day basis, and how it was like to be working in one of the art organizations here in Hong Kong, and you guys can check out that playlist. So this course is decided to let you know how to engage society through artistic and creative strategy. So you will be work closely with artists, social workers, entrepreneurs, designer, therapist, architects, and etc. So besides from art administration works, you can also expect to create some art projects and assist the organization in running creative projects during your internship placement. So this is actually a summer internship based on my previous experience. It usually happened in summer. So they partner with over 20 organizations before. So here's a partner list from the year that I joined this internship course which is in 2021 you can like take it as a reference they've got art and culture outreach aco art promotion office apo art together artist co-op cng apartment props on peel gifts from len hot collective limited which is also my previous internship organization homemade well-being jc Hong Kong Art Center, ID Art, Make a Difference Institute, Making on Lofts Limited, Meals Chats, Play the Pot, Rooftop Institute, Sangu Kun and Kids Club, Severin Art Foundation, Sound Pocket, Sanjay Sandalment, Fever Blue House, and School of Everyday Life. Basically back then, for most organizations, they only provide one internship quota. So how the assessment's gonna look like? It's basically almost half is the evaluation given by the organization. And the other half is a presentation after your internship, like reporting what you did and those kind of things. And also a report and some little workshops that you have to join. But the workshop is actually just a one-to-one -one chatting with your advisor from the lecturer of this course. I think I can share a little bit about my internship experience at Hot House. I genuinely think that Hot works more attention and support as a art organization here in Hong Kong. Because during my internship, I honestly think that I spend the most productive and amazing times there. I spent all of my time at Hot House, which is under the Hot Collective Limited. It's a not-for-profit organization. So they support and enables Hong Kong art community through diverse exhibition, events, and salon programming and they also support artists and a lot of stuff. So during my internship, there were basically six main areas including administration works, documentation or research, engaging with the public, design, facilitating, working with artists, and marketing social media side. For general administration works, so we have to maintain the current exhibition or current show dailies operation, updating official website information, and translating um, exhibition or show press release, like for research or documentation. Works like inputting books information to the library archives, conducting marketing research for upcoming workshops, inputting questionnaires, data, 
and updating visitors' information and contact list. And for facilitating with artists, her house is also a huge studio for different artists that can work there. And to do the creation stuff, it's really cool that we can able to work very closely with artists. Among these six areas, engaging with public is probably the most memorable thing for me. One of the program called LSG Studio stands for Lok Sin Tong Studio. This is an art and community pilot program, which is a community project between my art organization and Lok Sin Tong. The program will visit Kowloon City with our participants. I vividly remember during my placement, it was such a pleasure to hold the first artistic sports day under the LST program. We were brainstorming and designing the games for the sports day and which combines sports and all together. It was pretty fun but also not easy at all. There are way more things I can share about my internship experience there but I just want to say one word to sum up all the experience is amazing. So except for this summer internship course, as a final student at CVHK, we sometimes receive emails from the department about other internship opportunities and they're also optional. We can apply it freely. I remember there's always emails about internship opportunity inside CVHK. In case you don't know, there's an art museum inside the campus. It's also the venue of holding our graduation show every year, no matter for undergraduate or postgraduate students. So CHK Art Museum are also available for internship. So let's talk about some exhibition creating opportunities at CHK Fine Arts. Except for a few mandatory exhibitions like freshman year exhibition and also the graduation exhibition, we as a fine student can create exhibition with our own ideas on campus. It can be solo or joint display. For your information, our uni has a unique college system in Hong Kong. There are 9 colleges in total, so for most of the majors, students have their free to choose what college they want to belong to, but for fine arts major, we have no choice. We only belong to New Asia College where it's like located on top of the mountain. So I'm going to talk about some optional exhibition creating choice. All of them need to provide an exhibition proposal and you have to go through a process of application. The first place that you can create your own solo or joint exhibition is New Asia College Chimok Library. On Mastany floor, that's a place you can exhibit your works. If you want to curate a solo or joint exhibition, you have to submit an application form in advance and also detailed exhibition proposal and also the work that you've done before and kind of like make a list for them to show them your previous works. It's like a reason our examples, concepts, type, quantity, dimensions, decoration methods and arrangement of artworks need to be clearly identified on your proposal. So the office will go through your materials for your application uh, to decide whether they are going to approve it or not. So for more information as usual, I'm just put them all on the info box. Their website also has an exhibition archives. So you can take a look of how it's like and how it works. The second venue that you can hold your exhibition is Hui Gallery. It's located on the ground floor of Shengming Building in New Shea College. For information, Shengming Building is where our major located. Hui Gallery is literally really close to Chimok Library. The space of exhibition area way more bigger than the library one. So usually a bigger size of joint exhibition will happen inside Hui Gallery. For example, like a joint show of 12 people. So for her gallery, you also need a proposal and concept explaining the artworks, arrangement, medium, and stuff like that, just like Chimo Library. The third venue is Shengming Building, where it finds us major located on the second floor and flip floor. So every year there will be undergraduate and postgraduate grad show, but the venue is on the other side of the campus almost around the same period of time like around in the middle of the year in june the arts of the cuhk of that year curation or what we call as student exhibition are open to apply to so the whole second floor and third floor will be turning into an exhibition place i would say some of the previous quality of the exhibition 
quite nice. So maybe on the same floor, there are like eight exhibitions going on. Mostly it's George's exhibition. So now for the mandatory exhibition, there are two, as I mentioned, like the freshman exhibition and the graduation show. So for the freshman exhibition, it's like a more chill exhibition. It's not like graduation show, not like not that kind of serious. So nothing much can explain here. It's a small exhibition that's showing your works that you made in your freshman year. But for the other one, the graduation exhibition, for undergraduate degree, all art students must participate in it. No matter you're writing a thesis or making an artwork, I actually explain more in the degree structure part. You can go to check them out again. So mostly for the grad show, it will be inside the art museum at CUHK. It's on the side of the university mall. So I guess a lot of people don't know the career path of graduating from fine arts major. It can relate it to art or not, it's totally up to you. So some people probably didn't do anything about art after their graduation, so the choice is on you. But I can still talk about the career path and stuff. You can do something like, first, of course, it's artist, but let me tell you a really harsh truth is that only minority of the graduates can become an artist, maybe like one to two, I don't know, just literally minority of them. Whether you want to be a painter, sculptor, or performing artist, stuff like that, is totally not an easy thing. No matter creates good artworks or whatever, like creating artwork, this part is already a challenge. You have to balance what you truly want to make or say in your works. And also you have to consider about the art market and audience in the outside world. There are a lot of factors you have to consider. So in reality, if you want to make a solo exhibition as a newbie in the art world, that's honestly quite hard to do already. But if your work gains recognition by the art market, or even famous various art gallery, like they fighting to cooperate with you, then this time you can become a full-time artist. A few years ago, one of the professor from a major said, you have to keep making artworks for six to seven years after your graduation, but it won't guarantee that you can become a successful or famous artist. I think six to seven years is just a concept for you to understand how long this journey can be. It's like a game ball. In this game ball, persistent, passion, hard working, and also luck are also the keys. So imagine how hard that would be, especially in Hong Kong. <laughs> Apart from being an artist, art education is an other possible option. So part of the art graduate will further study a postgraduate diploma in education program, which is PGDE. Then they can become an art teacher in primary school or secondary school something, or they can be a freelance art tutor. Except for art education, art administration is another option, like working at art gallery, museum, for instance, like Amplus, Tycoon, Hong Kong Museum of Art, like managing artworks, or even some exhibition curating job. But this kind of job is mainly about administration. It's totally different from art creation, making artworks. Maybe they would do more, I consider, tedious works. Like paperwork, contacting with different peoples, and marketing. Apart from the exhibition curator and architect are in other ways. So these are some possible ways that you can go for your art career after graduation, but you totally don't have to limit yourself. The world is full of possibility. You don't have to put yourself in a cage, forcing yourself to only choose from a few options. Your potential has no upper limit. So now I'm gonna share some websites that I think is really useful. So first, of course, is the Fine Arts official website. It's showing you the basic information about our major. The second thing is CHK Undergraduate Student Handbook. They have all the detailed things that you have to know. And last is the Art of CHK. It's literally like a database and archives of MA, MAFA, MFA graduation exhibition. So basically, I cover, I think, all or even majority of the things that you have to know about CHK Fine Arts. I use really a 
a lot of time to organize these notes and informations and stuff. I really hope that it's going to be helpful for you. So if you still have another questions, you can just feel free to comment down below to ask some questions. And if you found this video useful, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Also, you can turn on the notification bell and share it to your friends who's probably interested in CHA Fine Arts because I know there's really no videos on YouTube talk about that. So that's the wrap. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!